Welcome to Wisdom of Africa and in this video I'll break down five proverbs from Cabo Verde aka Cape Verde, a popular winter escape that is made of 10 volcanic islands, nine of which are inhibited. Proverb number one says, if a baboon could see his behind, he would laugh also. This proverb means don't take yourself too seriously. We all have flaws and if you could actually see yourself the way others see you, you would probably laugh at some of your imperfections like we all do. But anyway, what is this proverb really teaching us? All it's teaching us is humility. It brings us to our second proverb and it says, whoever tells the truth is chased out of nine villages. You had me right, not one, not two, chased out of nine villages. What's the meaning of this proverb? This proverb highlights the value placed on harmony and conformity in many traditional societies where the truth can be seen as disruptive or even dangerous to the status quo. In such cultures, it's often expected that people will be diplomatic and tactful, even if they have to lie or withhold information to avoid offending others. For many people, the truth can be difficult to accept. And some will actually go as far as fighting you because of it. The truth can be a double-edged sword. And those who weld it must be prepared to face the consequences. For example, whistleblowing at work, yeah? You speak out against corruption. Like in the case of South African civil servant Babita Diokoran, who was murdered outside her home, after she blew the whistle on government corruption. Now, I don't know about you, but I am not sure I want to live in a society where telling the truth is a crime or worse, it gets me killed. Do you? Do you? Anyway, it brings us to our third proverb and it says, a hot needle burns the thread. When sewing or stitching fabric using a hot needle, obviously it's going to cause the thread to burn and to weaken. In life, it's important to use the right tools and techniques to achieve um, the desired outcome and avoid negative consequences. If we rush into something without proper preparation or attention to detail, we risk ruining everything so slow down pay attention and take care attention to detail is my forte anyway it brings us to our fourth proverb and it says when carrying an elephant's flesh on your head one should not look for crickets underground you're carrying the elephant why would you be looking for crickets underground? What does this mean? Elephants are considered sacred in very many African traditions and they are often associated with strength, wisdom and power. So this proverb tells us that when dealing with important matters, one should not be distracted by trivial issues as in looking for crickets underground, trivial issues. We must prioritize our efforts and not waste time or energy on things that are not essential or relevant to the task at hand. For example, if a student preparing for an important exam spends time worrying about what to wear or what snacks to bring to the exam, come on they will be distracted from the most important task of studying and preparing for that exam. Stay focused on your goal, 
Don't get distracted by minor details because when carrying an elephant's flesh on your head, remember the elephant is sacred here. Yeah? You should not look for crickets underground. It brings us to our last proverb from Ket Vadi, which says, I know it perfectly prevents the wasp from learning to make honey. When we are too confident in our own knowledge and abilities, we can become closed off to learning new experiences. The pursuit of knowledge and the willingness to learn and grow is a continual process yeah it never stops it continues and even those who are experts in their field like Mwah! we can always learn something new for example a person has been working in the same job for decades they may feel that they know everything there is to know about it they may even refuse to learn new skills or techniques, believing that they have already mastered their job. However, this attitude can prevent them from advancing in their career or adapting to changes in their industry, especially in the technology evolution that we are in right now. We have artificial intelligence um, that can write books, it creates art, it can make music, it can even mimic human conversations to the point where you can't tell you're talking to a robot. So, to all the chief know-it-alls out there, myself included, prepare to be replaced. And for the rest of us who approach their jobs with an open mind and willingness to learn, May we continue to grow and improve because there is always more to learn, even in areas we may consider ourselves experts. I want to give you a fun fact. Did you actually know that wasps are actually very skilled at making honey? I for one didn't know that. And yet, even though they are often overshadowed by bees in this regard, wasps make a different kind of honey known as pepper honey which they produce by chewing wood and mixing it with their saliva while their honey is not as sweet as bee honey it's still considered a delicacy in some cultures go get yourself some wasp honey as the saying goes knowledge without wisdom is like water in the sun so if you like this video you are going to love this one this one this one right here